Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel Siblings React and Drink. Yeah. Woo. My name is Rick. This is my lovely sister. Dennis. And today we are watching Band of Brothers. We're continuing with the series. Uh, well, I was going to say season, but it's only one season. It's only one season. Episode 2 of Band of Brothers, The Day of Days, I believe it's called. Oh, we're doing two. I, th I thought we were messing it up. Okay. So, what are we drinking? We are having mimosas, and we're having like a... a actually, this is a strawberry uh, ah. champagne, which is why it gives it this color, because I mixed it with uh, orange juice, which is traditional, you know? OJ but, and strawberry champagne. Yeah. Cheers Perfect. to that. Cheers. But, yep, yeah, so we're continuing with the series. Very good. All right, so let's jump into episode two. Yeah. Standing in the door, I could see the lights on the drop zone. I like those interviews. Yeah. I mean, you really hear it from their point of view, you know. And uh, and suddenly, it, the pilot gives me the green light. I'm out hmm. the door immediately. We came from the sky. Oh, hit, how and terrible. In any direction you went, there would be enemy. You knew it. And uh, that was all part of what you accept in the back of your mind you, yeah you, you know you you wonder what's going i would not be able to jump mm. even in you know you, for fun uh, like people do trained, you know trained for that <laughs> you can't train for that no do and uh, you, oh, that's what you got to think about you know and, and we lost a lot of people that night mm. but uh you try to put it all on your mind oh man mm. Yeah, because they would drop hours, I don't know how many hours before the main attack. Yeah. Probably at night time or early morning. Mm. And that's the other thing too, with as loud as those planes were, it's not like they could sneak up on anybody either, you know, so they were ready for them. I, I would think, you know, like, you hear it coming. Yeah, even though they're high, they could still, I mean, they have radars too probably that they detected them, but, yeah. I mean, look how we could hear the planes just by Yeah, I imagine, man. Know? It's a lot of planes. They say the bomber, I mean, these are not bombers, but back in World War II, they used to darken the sun. Mm -hmm. Not so many planes they were flying. I bet. They were flying to... Yeah. On the way to bomb a city or something. Right. Man. That's so freaky. I mean, I could just imagine like what's going on, like the, that one guy was saying, you have to prepare yourself mentally mm. for all of this. Man. And then jumping, not knowing exactly where you're going to land. Oh, yeah. Ooh. And like in Saving Private Ryan, we saw that. I mean, they were scattered all over. They didn't. Yeah. None of them were able to, to land where they were supposed to. Yeah. This, this happened. <laughs> they said it was a calculated risk, you know, but things didn't go as planned. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh my god. They didn't have time to even get out. Oh my god. That's terrible. Oh man. Well, altitude or speed don't matter. You gotta get out. <laughs> Take your chances, you know. Yeah. What's this? Imagine if you land on that. <laughs> yeah. And I don't know if this parachutes you can steer or not. You know, like the new ones now, you can kind of... Yeah, they've improved them a lot, that's for sure. But back then, who knows yeah. how much you could do with that or not. And women were in trouble because there was a silk shortage. Mm. People when used to wear the silk stockings. Yeah. Oh, 
I like that. They go in this way, or let's go the other way. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> He lost his rifle. Well, I was until I lost my radio on the jump. I'm sure I'll get chewed out for that. <laughs> oh, Shit. man. If you were in my platoon, I'd tell you you were a rifleman first, radio man second. Your eyes peeled from buildings, farmhouses, bridges. I'm pausing real quick. Question for your. Uh, you folks that served I didn't get to serve I didn't serve but I see that in movies especially in World War two movies where they have some people do have the chin strap around you know mm -hmm. uh, around or tight some people don't like see winters and this guy they have it loose mm -hmm. what why is that why some people don't use the chin strap some people have it loose I mean don't you want your helmet to stay on, or was it really uncomfortable? Well, What's the reason behind that? Yeah. Anyone that's serving the military, I don't. Maybe now they uh, same thing happens. Some mm. people put it on, and some people have it not strapped. Yeah. Tell me in the comments. Uh, it might be like know. a preference, but yeah, it'd be interesting to find out. You know. Yeah. Okay. And we're back in five, four, three, two, one. They're using those clickers now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Man, they're all like finding each other, you know, yeah. in any way. Or by accident. <laughs> you guys that have the weapons should go in the front. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> There's two of them with knives. Winter is just a knife and yeah. I think the... The other guy, mm -hmm. sergeant or whatever his Germans. Hmm. What? <laughs> so much for waiting for your command. Oh, not the horses. What the hell, man? It's not their fault. Oh. I'm more worried about the horses than the people. Nah. Alright. Oh. No prisoners. Shit, man. Everyone okay? Jesus, the guy went off. Is the one that his brother got killed in Monte Cassino? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Right. It's pissed off already. <laughs> yeah. He had to put it out of its misery. How sad for the horses. Mm. Wow. Hmm. Ooh. Shit. Because you notice all those bullets going up, right? They were firing at the yeah. planes and stuff. So all those bullets them, yeah. come down, too. Right. <laughs> so if you live nearby there, your bullets are going to... It's going to rain bullets on your house and if fields. If I need supplies or ammo, now it's time to get it. It's got dead soldiers, huh? Yeah. Yeah. McDowell. You okay? Yes, Sergeant. Let's go. Oh, shit. Mm. There we go. It's the invasion is starting. The Navy. Let's go. Yeah. Move it out. Right on time. the war? Where are you from, son? Eugene, Oregon. Eugene? What gives? What are you doing in a crowd uniform? My family answered the call. Mm. All true Aryans should return to the. Mm. Oh, wow. Join up to 41. You're shitting me, right? Hey, Malachi, stop fraternizing with the enemy. <laughs> Question for you guys. What are, why uh, were the German soldiers called Prouts? Right. Sauerkraut? I don't know. Could be. But, uh, yeah. If you know the, the answer, if that's the answer, cool, but let us know in the comments. So, all the, the Germans went back to Germany and to fight. On the side of Germany, even if yeah. you're from here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. His parents decided to go back. <laughs> so he ended up. Oh, giving them cigarettes. Nice. Yeah. 
Danke. Danke. Oh shit. You gave him a cigarette and then killed him. Because they're not dealing with prisoners now. Easy? Yeah. Fuck. We'll be making the main assault. Understood? Yes, sir. Hey, that's, uh, yes, sir. All right, let's pack it those up. are good leaders, man. He's a lieutenant, but he's... Should I'm leading the attack. He's the in the front. Yeah. See around, all. See, some of them have a strap, other ones don't, so... It's and probably just a preference. Might. I know that back in the Roman days, you could always tell a, a soldier or whatever because they had like a scar down here oh yeah or the beard wouldn't grow anymore because of their because of the strap yeah strap so the helmet even though it doesn't protect you against bullets it does protect you against uh, sharp uh, sharp nail yeah those are cannons are firing on utah beach man yeah man but if you can't see them they can see you right <laughs> That's where you shoot, I guess. Oh, this guy got up on the tree. He can he can see them from that, from up there. Hmm? He can see them from up there. Yeah. You know. Now they can see him too. See? Yeah. Shit. Well, he's a little more hidden because of the, you know, leaves and stuff. This guy's supposed to flank him. The other guys are just keeping them busy, you know, firing on them. Yeah. Now these guys are flanking them. Right. Let's fuck him up. That's what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, man. You hear the sound of the bullets swishing by? Yeah. You love that sound. I say soldiers love that sound. Because that means they didn't hit you. Oh. The ones you don't hear is the one because the one that hit you. Man. Oh man, grenade. Oh. What does that mean? I surrender? Probably. They did bring brass knuckles. Hmm. <laughs> he wants to get the yeah, looter for his big brother or something. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can't be doing that, dude. Now you stop firing. <laughs> shit. Oh, shit. Jesus. Oh, because he wanted to try to get a Luger? Come on, dude. This is war. You can't be doing that shit. Oh, please be careful. Damn. There we go. Man, all this, and they just destroyed one so far. There's four, I think. Mm. Even the caraman's in the action, man. <laughs> <laughs> ah, fuck. Booby trap? Mm. Man, I don't even know how they recognize each other. I mean, I know they yeah. have the uniform, but still, I, I'd be like, is that one of ours or one of theirs? You know, yeah. like, I'd be scared to shoot the wrong person. I think Germans had a different shape. Wait, who was this? I think that's Hall. Oh. I don't know if it's the cowboy or not. The guy that. Yeah. The London cowboy. Oh my god. Where is his head? Go wow. High. Who is that? Spears? The Spears is the one that killed those guys, the prisoners. Mm. Give him a cigarette and kill yeah. them. Yeah. MGs, machine guns. Mm. Machine guns move first. But they're a little slower, I guess. Yeah. And they need to cover them when they retreat. Right. It's a lot of chaos, man. Like you said, who knows? Yeah. Well, even the Germans were confused. They were shooting on each other. Yeah, I mean, that's what I mean. Like, it's it's chaos. How do you know who who's who? Mm. Alright, so this guy's made it up. Oh. 
Uber. This Uber is here. Wait, is that Fury? <laughs> no. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. This looks like a Sherman tank. Oh, yeah. look at that. Think can go on the water, almost. <laughs> yeah. I think that's what that is for. Second Battalion had secured Sam Marie Dumont. How we doing, Malak? We're doing good. We're doing good. Yeah. I'll need a little cookie. You're Irish, sir. If you have a reservation, someplace else. I'd be happy to go. Thank you. Most worth reading. Whatever they can find, I'm sure. And that's like a what do you call that? An ammunition tin? Yeah. I was impressed the way he handled those cannon situation. Yeah. Oh, he's drinking. Oh, see? He drinks. Don't need it. The day of firsts. Don't you think, Garnier? Yes, I like Winters because he's, yeah, he's good with everything. Carry on. He tries to keep everyone, you know, oh, yeah. together, Sorry. doing what they need to do. I'm not a Quaker. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not a Quaker. <laughs> well, it's better than Sobel. Remember Ross? That would have been a nightmare in this <laughs> situation. Or maybe not. Who knows? Maybe he would have clicked, but doubt it. Didn't even read a map. Yeah. It's too amped up still, probably. Yeah, right. Man. That night I took time to thank God for seeing me through that day of days. And you see those Somehow lights? Yeah, those bullets. It's like, yeah, it's like I God every God seven bullets or every ten bullets, there's a light. I so if you see those lights, there's like ten other bullets in between. Right. I think it's every seven bullets. Man. Yeah. You make it out well. We saw. I guess he does make it, right? Cause I don't know. I don't know who's who. The guys that are well being interviewed. I, yeah, I'm very curious which ones. I don't know if they told us to who the they end. are yet. But. I mean, to the end of the series, you know. That was the day of days. For destroying the German guns at Be Record Manor, the following medals were awarded. Bronze and silver stars. Mm -hmm. Lorraine. Oh, and, oh Compton. Yeah. That's that guy's name. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody else. Oh, could. that's Winters. Okay, so there's a Distinguished Service Cross was awarded to uh, Richard, Lieutenant Richard Winters. Oh, his Dick. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they call him Dick because okay, he's Richard. So he's Richard. Mm -hmm. EC Company's capture of the German battery became a textbook case of an assault on a fixed position and is still demonstrated at the, as the oh sorry at the United States Military Academy at West Point today. Mm. Wow. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, he was definitely the guy for, right guy for the job. Yeah. Yeah, Ross, they probably would all be like gone. I hate to say it, but he just wasn't good at that, you know. He might be good at training. He's got like a weird training method, but yeah, that's just you know, if you can't do teach, that's what they say, you know, so you should just keep that's true. training people. All right, well, well, interesting again episode. and Some of them survived. There's a bunch of them still missing. That's day one. All right, that's the end of episode two. We'll see you on episode three. Thanks again. Please subscribe to the channel. If you have it. And click the notification bell so you'll be notified when we post uh, something else. Yep. Bye. Later.